Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Before we talk about the cloud cover, I wanted to mention and say a big hello to all of the second graders at Star Elementary today. I had a great time talking weather to the kids, and I got to tell you, second graders getting ready to study weather have learned a lot already, and they are talking about air pressure. These are second graders now, so I was very impressed, and I want to say a big hello to everybody at Star Elementary, including all those second graders that we talked to today. Lots of weather going on. Talked about weather balloons tracking clouds. Well, here are the clouds, and we're tracking them with a camera right here. Take a look at this time lapse view as we look towards the west, southwest, and Canyon County. The clouds coming toward us and we'll pan the skies and follow that cloud cover as it goes here from now panning over to the south and to the east. And you can see it's just been gloomy. It has been gloomy since Saturday, but we've only had a tenth of an inch of rain in the Treasure Valley over the weekend, and most of that fell on Saturday, not on Sunday. A uh, picture right now from the village at Meridian, mostly cloudy skies, and the clouds did produce a good amount of rain in the mountains. About a half inch in McCall, 5,300. Some places getting more than that, but a lot of melting going on. I'll show you that coming up in a moment here. 59 right now in Boise. Typical high temperature 55. And when it's cloudy and it still hits this number, that's a sign the air mass is still quite warm. So it's mild air mass overhead, and that's not going to change all that much here for a little while. If we can get the sun to come out, those temperatures will go up. Now, here's what I'm talking about. McCall last week was showing a lot of ice all throughout the lake. It's all water now at rain, just coming down with those warm temperatures, just eating away that ice and the snow here, as you can see. So, really beginning to warm things up right now. Spring skiing still going. Going on. Mountains are hanging on because they still have snow left, but those temperatures have been mild. 49 McCall right now, not all that warm, although that's still uh, quite a bit above average. And you see these high temperatures getting into the 50s. Look at Stanley today, 58 degrees. Boise was 59. Haley at 57 degrees and showing a 67 in Chalice today. So some mild air up there in those higher elevations. And you'll see the cloud cover still hanging on. There are rain showers east of Sun Valley now to just north of Twin, uh, north of Gooding. Uh, these locations here to the north will keep some of these rain showers around. This line right here, as you see to the west, this could enhance a little bit tonight and then eventually start to slide in our direction. Then we could get some clearing, but that could bubble up some showers during the afternoon tomorrow. And the McCall, uh, those in the West Central Mountains, those could be thunderstorms developing later in the day tomorrow. So we'll have to watch for that. Here's mild weather with moisture coming up here from the south. And this will help feed into the Magic Valley as well as cloud cover band continues to lurk right over southwest Idaho, feeding in from the tropics. And so that renewed moisture coming on in is what will enhance this rainfall to the west and will give us a good chance for some scattered showers throughout the day tomorrow. If you're showing up on the future cast tonight, mostly just cloudy. If you have plans this evening outdoors, what you see right now is pretty much what you get through the evening, although we could get some of those rain showers in the mountains. By the way, that system coming in tomorrow, we're still talking 7,500 feet snow levels in the west central mountains, 8,500 in the east central mountains. Could go as low as 7,000, but at a couple of inches, not out of the question, but it's a tough call. Tuesday morning doesn't show any rain here in this chart. Cloudy, but I think some showers will develop during the day. We could get some clearing in the afternoon, but even at night, we could get some showers coming in later on. So throughout the day tomorrow, you see those popcorn showers popping up during the evening, despite the fact that we might see the sunshine for the first time in a while tomorrow. We still have the chance for those showers developing even when that occurs. So that chance for showers tomorrow, but notice Wednesday. Look at all those clear skies coming in. We'll keep that sunshine around. Low pressure is going to move on by to the north at southwesterly wind, giving us those scattered showers tomorrow. But then that jet stream is going to shift back to the north and over the week, uh, towards moving forward towards the end of the week, lots of sunshine and dry conditions coming right back in. So tomorrow, mostly cloudy. A few showers could get some clearing mixed with showers in the afternoon. Low 60s will be popular, mid 60s in the Western Valley. Winds may be light, but they could get a little gusty late in the day. Showers in the mountains, then they break up a little bit, but some thunderstorms could come into the West Central Mountains during the afternoon. Some early season storms coming in. East Central Mountains, a similar story. Some rain showers, snow up above 8,400 feet. Uh, temperatures in the 50s, maybe a thunderstorm or thunder boomer late in the day around Stanley. And the Magic Valley tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. The winds will be shifting during the afternoon. I think we'll stay in the low 60s, although it could go upper 60s in Gooding. Scattered showers are a good bet. This extended forecast, though, looking nicer. Sunshine returns Wednesday. Look at Thursday and Friday, 67 to 73 by Friday. Beautiful weather coming in. We had great weather last Friday. We've got it coming in for this Friday as well. We may get more showers during the day on Saturday as the temperatures cool back down. And then Sunday, we can come back out with the sunshine. And Monday. This has been some kind of March. It, it has been it, it, very interesting. Yeah. It's been somewhat dry yeah. and it has been warm. And that snow is melting fast. All yeah, right, thanks, is. Scott. Will Hillary Clinton be called to testify before Congress? Up next, why some lawmakers are saying she clearly broke federal law by sidestepping official email channels.
You're watching Today 6 on your side.